Today, we are going to work on the additional activities written in our uh, learning activity sheets or LAS entitled, How Much? So here is the direction. So Linda is about to cook a Pinoy-style bupalo wings as a new menu of her restaurant. Help her solve the total cost of the needed ingredients, the selling price of the meal, and the profit. Write the formula used to get the total, the estimated price per serving, and the profit. Okay, so ito na yung data natin na tutularin. Okay, so punta tayo sa Excel. Uh, let's minimize this one para makita natin yung ating itatype. Okay. So, we have Pinoy style buffalo wings number ingredients quantity price in peso right so 1 so kita naman natin 1 to 10 ito nasa uh, column A natin so ang pwede natin gawin dyan para madali instead na mano-mano natin siya i-type na 1, 2, 3, 4 hanggang 10 ang gawin natin type tayo ng 1 and 2 highlight natin yung cell cell na yon A3 and A4 and then drag down natin ito hanggang uh, A12 ayan so 10 okay so para mapadali yung ating trabaho so let's uh, encode again chicken wings we have the all purpose flour we have the cornstarch margarine butter calamansi we have pepper hot sauce ketchup seasonings cooking oil there you go then sa ating uh, pwede natin siyang i-adjust sa agad ngayon pa lang so itong B adjust sa agad natin siya para makita natin alright there you go Ayan. So, makikita natin. Sige, mag-encode muna tayo. Mamaya natin tapusin yung uh, pag-merge. 1 kilo, 1.5 kilo, 1.5 kilo, 1 piece, 5 pieces, 1, one 1.5 tablespoon, 1 bottle, 1 fourth cup, 1 sachet, 1 bottle. Okay, at ang mga prices natin ay 90, 20, 20, 45, 5, 35, 10, 5, and 26. Alright, there you go. So, ayusin na natin yung mga alignment. Ito muna. So, lagay tayo border. Kung mapapansin ninyo, paano ba natin siya i-merge? So, highlight natin to. And then... Dito, cells, uh, right click tayo, format cells, alignment, text control, merge cells. And then, center natin siya. There you go. So, ito, lahat ay naka-center. So, align natin siya, center, and then, Yung dalawang row na to, naka-bold. So, control B Alright? Itong quantity and price, naka-center. Alignment, center. There you go. Ito namang total natin, estimated price per serving. Sige, pwede natin siyang i-encode na ngayon. Oh, lumabis tayo. So, ang gawin natin dito, so... Unmerge natin. So, ayan, unmerge natin siya. Right click. Format cells. Tanggalin lang natin yung check. Ayan. So, lumabis kasi tayo dito. Tapos ito, pwede natin siyang i-delete. There you go. No? So, para mapadali. Highlight ulit natin siya. From A to D column. Then, again. <clears throat> merge tayo. There you go. Then, encode na natin ito. Pwede natin i-type dito, total, kasi i-merge naman natin siya. Total, estimated uh, 
rice per serving, profit. Okay. And then, hanggang saan ba siya? Hanggang quantity lang siya. So, highlight natin itong A to C column. Pag may maximize kasi natin to, mas madali nating makikita yan. Merge and center. No? Pero dahil hindi naman siya naka-center, nandun siya sa right side. So, ito yung uh, align right natin siya. Okay, so, merge and center, align right. Merge and center, align right. Then, tingnan ulit natin. So, siya ay naka. Zoom natin. Makikita natin siya ay naka. Bold. Control B. And then, of course, meron siyang border. There you go. Okay? So, this time, kunin naman natin, kukunin na natin yung, sabi nga dito, ayan, nakita naman natin. So, kailangan natin makuha We have to solve for the total cost of the needed ingredients, the selling price of the meal and the profit. Okay. So to get the total price, okay, the total cost of the ingredients, we are going to use the sum formula. Okay. Again, use the sum formula to get the summation of these values. Ito yung kukunin natin na total. So from, let's have, let's type the sum formula. So sum open parenthesis and then saan ba siya nakatapat? D3 hanggang D12 there you go close parenthesis enter so 256 yung total amount or total cost ng ating ingredients so pwede natin siyang center then bold kasi ito na yung result ulitin natin na equals sum Open parenthesis. So, ano yung number, ano lang values na kukunin natin? D3 hanggang colon D12. Tinipe ko lang. Kanina kasi, hinighlight ko na lang yung D3 going down to D12. Ano? So, dalawa yung pwede natin gawin. Ngayon naman, ano ba yung estimated price per serving? So, kasi walang nakalagay dito sa ating uh, given sa activity na ito. So, we are going to assume or think of your uh, of our own estimated price per serving that will earn your business profit of course or kita. Okay? So, let's assume na ang ating estimated price per serving para sa ating uh, Pinoy style bubalo wings is 350 pesos. Okay? Center ulit natin. Bold. Ayan. So, yan yung inassume natin no, para siguradong may kita tayo. Alright. So, paano naman natin kukunin yung profit? Okay? Madali lang. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, ang gagawin natin is, uh, we are going to apply the arithmetic formula for what? Subtraction, of course. So, paano natin siya gagawin? So, madali lang. So, itatapat lang natin to, uh, D14 minus, or hyphen, the total of the uh, cost ng price uh, ng ingredients natin. 256. So, that is two four, D14 minus D13. Tinapat ko lang ha, pero pwede mo rin siyang i-type. Nakita no, naman agad natin, D14 minus D13. Enter. Alright. So, 94 pesos yung lumabas. So, it is already profitable. Right? So, ang kikitain natin kapag ang estimated price natin per serving na 350 pesos at ang ating total cost ay 256. So, ang profit natin sa ating Bopalo Wings is 94 pesos. And again, it is already profitable. profitable. Now, if the price is not profitable, of course, you will make an adjustment. So, let's say for example... Ang estimated price natin, hindi pa natin alam yung total cost ng ingredients is 200. Let's say, uh, 250 pesos. So definitely, lugi tayo. Lugi pa tayo ng 6 pesos. Alright? So let's say, 320. Ayan, kumita tayo ng 64. So nakadepende naman sa atin. Ayan. No? So kanina, originally, 350 yung ating in na estimated price serving. Okay? So kung gusto nyo i- Lagyan ng uh, mga colors para madali natin siyang makita. So, you can fill in color. Alright? So, that is for activity 
six how much i hope you learned something from it goodbye